You can't tell me about beef on road, cause I've had beef on road. And you can't tell me about black dress code, cause I'm in a black dress code. And you can't tell me about making dough, cause I'm out here making dough. And you can't tell me about friends or foes, when I don't have friends or foes. No one can tell me nothing. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's an old fight game adage that fans love nothing more than a knockout. If that's the case, then they will love this light heavyweight banger, who was celebrated today for delivering the most knockouts in UFC history. A record achieved thanks to his devastating prowess in the octagon with his fists, feet, elbows, and knees. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. I don't trust you because you doubt with the left hand. I keep something up on my... She get... Don't slip, thank not on the block where it's hot. Legalize with the nines, give a f about a cop. Real shit, this is it. From the bottom to the bait, this is anybody K. California all day, yes sir. On the curb, boss bird by the van. Little homies on the roof with the blam, blam, blam. Long Beach popping pill on them, I've been working so hard. Get your bail on, I've been working so hard. What to sell some, I've been working so hard. Welcome to the hell zone. So, run it up, 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 run it up. Is that shit we can touch on the sun? It's a brother, you get broke when the gun is up. This that East Coast, 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 Coast. Call me Mr. East Coast, Coast, Coast. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, he looks excited making the walk tonight, and why not? This is a contender fight. This is a title eliminator. If he wins the fight tonight, he is next in line for a shot at the UFC light heavyweight championship. You've heard him barking all week. He believes he's the best 205er in the world tonight his opportunity to prove it and to make sure that his next fight is for the UFC Championship. All eyes on this young man tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's gonna be comfortable in all areas of the game. Jackson Wink MMA staple. Here is the Albuquerque, New Mexico based former UFC light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones. Essentially an undefeated fighter. The only loss in his career by DQ to Matt Hamill back in the day. He has taken all comers. He has chewed them up. He has spit them out. The consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is a very powerful wrestler with some of the most ruthless elbow strikes we've ever seen. He is an unpredictable fighter on the feet, not afraid to throw crazy spitting, high-risk shots, and he attacks from all kinds of angles. Our tale of 
the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Jones is two years the elder. He will have a six inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Mr. Untouchable. And now, this is about fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 41 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion. Begins our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Uh, you ready? You ready? Go front. Opens up with a front kick. Jones's kick attempt there blocked. He's looking. Oh! Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Caught him with a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked. That one appeared to start. Him. This could be it right here. Block, Joe. Vicious combinations. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh! Wow! He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay oh. up. Oh. He goes down again. He's out. Wow. Wow. Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You got to think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. Here we see it again. Boom! And he's out. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is going to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Mr. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.